Alright y'all, so right now we are in SF. I got the boy Dale and Phil. What's up, what's up, <laughs> so I hit them up because we wanted to do a little shoot. As you can see, he's styled up here. What kind of vibe are you going for this? Uh, we're going for the 50s vibe today, the 50s vibe. We got a couple other vibes in the trunk, but started off, we're going to start off with this. <laughs> right, so basically, we're going to shoot some Cinestill 800T. I'm going to put it through the Olympus OM-1 that we picked up in last week's video. Uh, and to kind of match that same 50s vibe, we're at Mel's Diner because there's no other spot other than the classic diner book, so. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> they don't. I mean, I looked the part. Maybe they might be nice to us. Let's see. You ready? Yeah, definitely. All right, let's do it. Today, I'll be metering everything with this little light meter from Kex Camera. Now, I'm gonna be making a review of this thing in a week or two, so stay tuned. But as for the lenses, I'm gonna be toggling between a 50mm 1.4 and a 28mm 3.5. And I also brought along the Ricoh GR2 for fun. I personally love the colors Cinestill gives you when combined with neon lights. And being that this is an 800 ISO film, I've come to accept the grain, but I feel like for most people, it could be maybe too much. I shot the GR2 as a B camera as well to get some filler shots here and there, and I couldn't be happier with the results. When King James shooting, you know it's a body bag. God. All right, y'all, right, so. We had to kind of dip in and dip out really quick. Luckily though, the people who were working, they seemed like it wasn't really a big issue. Really want to see and push Cinestill, uh, see what we can get with it. For our next location, we headed downtown to check out another diner, but for some reason there was construction going on, so we ended up just walking around the area in search of some random neon lights. But before we could get to our next spot, one of the craziest things happened, and I don't even know how to explain it, just check this out. Sell this for an ad for that suitcase brand because that thing got ran over 50 miles per hour. It's still in one piece. Did you get a fit? Did you get it? My man, that shit crazy. Damn. That's crazy, man. Took a, took a beating. That's Damn, a good bro. one. I need whatever yeah. that thing's on. That shit bugging. Good thing you didn't go. <laughs> you just gave it a little bit. Just it slow. like went perfectly right in the middle of it. Hey, you know what was crazy? I thought it was a skater. Yeah, I know that's what I was, I was like. Did he somebody just bomb in the hill? Like somebody just bomb in the hill. All right, cool. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so that guy was getting out of an Uber. He lost his luggage. It started to roll down the hill, and bam. All right. Anyways.
headed down into Union Square. We're about to hit up Maiden Lane. Mm -hmm. He changed up the fit a little bit mm -hmm. here to go for a more classy look. Yes. Okay. So what's the next street right here? After Maiden Lane, we made our way into Chinatown to shoot Dale's last look, and we chose to emphasize our location by photographing the red lanterns above. Now being that we are shooting Cinestill, I wanted that red to pop off while still maintaining a nice Cinestyled color palette. Throughout the shoot, I ended up really liking some of the images made with the GR2. Here were some of my favorites. Alright y'all, so that wraps up the shoot. Right. Shout out to Dale and Phil for tagging along in oh, Chinatown. <laughs> and, uh, We'll see you in the next one. And that pretty much wraps up our entire shoot with Cinestill 800T. Now, if you guys are interested to hear, you know, how I metered for the scenes here and also, you know, just some tips and tricks on Cinestill, stay tuned for next week's video. Uh, but before we sign off, man, I want to give huge shout outs to Deo for modeling in the video. Also to Phil for being our bodyguard <laughs> no i'm just kidding but phil is a really good dude man shout out to phil and also huge shout out to drew for filming the entire video uh she was a trooper she lugged along the camera and uh, actually made the video quite pleasant to watch so thank you guys so much for tuning in man and i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think as always minolta gang till next time